Jesus gave you the word to be convicted to come to the altar or wherever you were to profess, to confess, and you took Jesus as your Lord and your personal Savior. That is the word. It gave you authority to become what? The sons of God. He gave you the power when you read John 1. He gave you the power to become, the authority to become the sons and daughters of God. So the word is authority. So your final opinion should be the authority of God's word. Your final decision. People may advise you of this and this, but your final decision should come from God's word. What is God telling me? That's what I've developed for many years. Because if you have a problem, you go out, you discuss with people on the, on the streets. You don't need down in your brain to pray to listen to the voice of God. And telling people on the street, they can confuse you because everybody will tell you different things about how they feel concerning what you are going through. So, which means every Christian should function according to the, the prophetic, the word of God. You should function within the confines of your realm, the realm that God has established your weight. So they don't do things beyond your ability to attract demonic. Because people are not living the life of the spirit. They are living only the life of the word. The authority of God's word will do little. And authority of God's spirit will do more because Jesus is in heaven. He's no more on earth. That's the word. But the Holy Spirit is the one who does heaven. He, he is more than a prophet. So word and spirit should work hand in hand. If you only know God's word, you have missed it. Unless you are the spirit of God. To it. If you only have become spiritual without the word, you miss it. Because they work hand in hand. Word and spirit. The word is a seed. As a sower went out to sow, some fell on the rocky ground, some fell on the tony, some fell on the roadside. The one that fell on a good soil. So the word of God, as we, we share, God is sprinkling seeds into your heart. Your heart is the field. And so my good heart, so my bad heart. So depending on how you can receive his word and keep it and so that you can multiply 30, 60, hundredfold increase for your own life then he said that yes your faith was small now it is large your faith means your confidence was small now it's boosted because of the word of god now and then the spirit of god comes upon you so when you became born again you took jesus as your lord and savior then what the spirit of god came to live in you so the spirit of god in you is not jesus it is the holy spirit who has replaced jesus in your heart because jesus is not on earth he's in heaven you can be highly anointed. That's a higher blessing than just marriage. Jesus is the husband, the bridegroom, and the church is what is the bride. So if you are highly anointed, you have not married. Somebody up there has married. And that's better. That's a higher one. Before you consider the other one. So if you remain kind of, kind of, oh, my world here, <laughs> oh, Lord, my house, oh, oh, then you are living an ordinary life. You have shifted from the super, what, what, unto natural. That one, anything can happen to you. You are bringing diseases to your body because you are not, uh, I mean, shifting from the carnal into spiritual. To be carnal minded is dead. But to be spiritual minded in Romans 8, 5, 6 is life and peace. Anything you fear can rule you. Never allow anything to, to rule you because you fear. Fear, bad fear is the devil. Fear is not good. But the holy fear is a reverential, deep reverential acknowledgement you give to the house. That's fear of God. So just fear. Have you done anything against God or anything? Have you opened the door and then you are afraid? Close your spirit so that fear does not enter. Close your heart. Never allow. Come on, shake. Don't allow it. It's not good. You haven't done anything. Never condemn yourself. If you fear, you are condemning yourself. There, there is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ. But if they are not in Christ, they are condemned. But since you are in Christ, what? No condemnation because Christ hung up on the tree and he died for you. He gave you his life. 
So he died on the cross. So whether you are aware or not, God is what is with you. So don't panic. No matter any situation that may come and go, God is always with you.